Salute, 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 man. You already know it's your boy Stony Rock. So back at you with another official jump off, man. You already know the Tom Cross heroin continues, man. Rikers Island drug dealers, man. You know what I'm saying? So we dealing with the pink couch shorties today, man. You already know, man, the girls that make it happen, that come in, you know what I'm saying, and, and make moves and make power moves and come through and make sure the niggas get that bag and that niggas on the island is living and that niggas is litty. You know what I'm saying? That niggas is making shit happen. You know, g mac it. It's a G-Mac call, you heard? You already know, me. It's a motherfucking G-Mac call. So, motherfucking bitches is coming through, making it happen, man. We gonna salute the motherfucking pink house bitches today, man. You already know, man. And you already know it's some motherfucking drama going down and some motherfucking shit. It always is, man. Especially in the drug game. Especially on Rikers motherfucking island. You already know. It's your boy Stony Rockstore. Let's get into this motherfucking action, man. So we G Macking, you know what I'm saying? Doing shit as usual, shit is hot. Like it's been, you know, little searches and shit like that. And you know, you know, things is still going steady, but at the same time, shit is like you wondering because you know that this shit can't continue to go on. And how many more people out of all the mistakes that's happening and a few people getting busted, few people going upstate, you know what I'm saying? And um and things like that, and people are, are snitching. You know what I'm saying? And officers come in and tell me, yo, you know, shit is a little hot, just chill out for a while or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? But the island is the island. You dig what I'm saying? You already know how shit gonna go. You know what I'm saying? Shit gonna go right back to regular. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna get this money. They gonna put all that shit to the side because we need this bread. You dig what I'm saying? Officers need this bread. We need this bread. Everybody's going to fall into accordance of motherfucking everything that we need to do to continue to make this money. They what I'm saying? Niggas know how to perform at this point and relax and chill and stop all the bullshit. But you know, every now and then shit just pop off and shit just get real ugly. So we g manking. We got um the apes. They over there. Know what I'm saying? They got kicked out. 
Two more apes is over there. No, I'm saying to you got the jet over there. No, I'm saying um, two apes took their place. They immediately got in touch. No, I'm saying it was like, yo, we trying to take them two niggas place that got left when the body happened. So, you know, got two niggas over there because they was already, you know what I'm saying, trying to get down. So when that shit happened, it's automatic. You dig what I'm saying? It's like, all right, cool. We already know what time. I already took your number. These niggas is going, so we need to keep motherfucking Dope Fiend City popping. You know what I'm saying? That's where the money's at. You know what I'm saying? With that motherfucking Tom Cross heroin more than the beacon. That shit is really popping over there. And the jet is over there doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? So... Niggas is holding it down, doing the damn thing, right? So this is the crazy shit that's happened. This was going on right now. Check it out. So as you know that when baddies come in, and these bitches were some bad bitches. These bitches was doing motherfucking stripping. These bitches was doing the OnlyFans shit. These bitches are some bad bitches. There's some money getting bitches, right? So... Pink Houses is known for having bad bitches, you dig? So, at the end of the fucking day, some of the officers trying to push up on some of the shorties. You dig what I'm saying? And not only regular officers, it's officers that we fuck with that be bringing in the bag too, that's trying to also link up with some of these bitches because they know these bitches is money getters. They see them coming down on the visit. These niggas be purposely working on the visit. Keeping game, cause they be keeping niggas safe and make sure niggas don't get busted, cause you have the right officer down there. Now, being that the right officer is down there, you get to scope and see what these bitches look like. And some of these bitches is coming looking like fantastic. These bitches is top of the line stripper bitches, top of the line money getters. These bitches are on OnlyFans making good money. These bitches are straight motherfucking hustlers. You dig know what I'm saying? So some of the officers is trying to holler at some of these bitches and the ones that's bringing in some of their own heroin and their own cigarettes and e-cigarettes and shit like that start to talk because you remember these niggas from the street too. These niggas is hustlers. They down with the game. They trying to get it in where they fit in too. You dig know what I'm saying? And you got to remember one thing, it ain't about falling in love with none of these bitches that's coming on the visit to see you. It's all about motherfucking making this bread, man. This business, man. Fuck all that lovey-dovey shit, man. You know, having feelings for bitches and shit like that. And that's where a lot of niggas went wrong. You dig what I'm saying? Let's keep getting this money. Fuck all that shit. So, at the end of the fucking day, a couple of officers, you know, press shorties and, and do the grapevine. Niggas... Let him know, yo, such and such is holding it down today. He gonna be down there. That's such and such. And he fuck with us. You dig what I'm saying? So then it becomes a correspondence where shorty saw sort of vibing, know what it is. Okay, that's such and such right there. So when they come in, they know when he there, it's all good. So when they see this nigga, they start to correspond and chop it up with old boy. You dig what I'm saying? So then you know numbers and shit get exchanged. No niggas is hustling. You hustle, I'm hustling. Just, you know, make shit happen. So now... One of the villains and shit, you know, he, he, he kind of feeling shorty. You know what I'm saying? He started to catch feelings. He think that's his girl now. You take what I'm saying? That's what I'm telling niggas, man. Don't get caught up on no bullshit, my nigga. On some emotional shit. Let's keep this shit motherfucking business. Me with shorty, you know what I'm saying? I keep that shit strictly business, man. Ain't no motherfucking emotions involved. A couple of times, one of her friends called me and chopping up, tell me something, sending me a message, you know what I'm saying? And I'll see what they look like on IG and all that shit like that. And I don't be trying to do nothing, nigga. I'm about a dollar, nigga. Fuck all that bullshit. Fuck all that shit, man. That shit come later. I want some motherfucking money. I'm trying to stack my bread. You dig what I'm saying? I'm trying to get it in. Why I can't, that shit come later. Fuck all that shit. I'm not trying to catch feelings. Shorty, I fucks with a hard body. Know what I'm saying? That, that type of energy. For real, for real, for real type energy. She a thorough official broad. You dig what I'm saying? And our friends is too. She making it happen. Know what I'm saying? To keep this motherfucking organization going. Know what I'm saying? We need the motherfucking news. We meet the females coming in and making it happen. So they the main motherfucking traffic of this shit. So to be honest with you, we doing our thing, but they 
part of the real organization of the motherfucking Tom Cross heroin shit. They the ones that were selling that shit before we even knew about it. They put us on to that shit. You dig what I'm saying? They allow us to make some money in a stack. our motherfucking account. You dig? So at the end of the fucking day, I'm like, all right, cool. So now he telling me one now, see, officers start to talk. And so tell other officers down with the shit so niggas start to peep game. Cause this is what they do on the regular. They be, you know, talking, trying to talk to niggas, bitch. We all know that shit. And your bitches are dime. You know what I'm saying? You going up, no, you got crazy time, you know, shit be going down. You we already know what time it is, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the fucking day, right? Shit started to get around. Right? And this shit just started to get crazy, right? And it's like, word get back to homie, and homie like feel some type of way. He's saying, like, yo. Word through the great one, like through other niggas that's talking in the town that know that they seen shorty with the homie that be, you know, the CO, homie that be coming through, you know what I'm saying? Making it have you putting his little heroin in and his little drugs and shit like that. And they seen him with shorty, right? Cause one of the other girls to say, yo, to such and such and tell the bro and come on the visit and tell the bro, yes, you know. She was with son right there. That's right there. Shorty right there. They're seeing him. Yeah, she was just with son the other day. They making money together. So now this shit get back to the villain. So now the villain didn't call feelings. He think that's his girl. You tell what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, that ain't your girl. Nigga, like we just, that's your business partner. You know what I'm saying? That's mother, that's your motherfucking supplier. That's your motherfucking plug. It ain't nothing that type of energy, my nigga. So niggas need to G-Mac on that type of shit you dig. So this nigga catching feelings, he come to me, he like, yo, stone. They talking about such and such, this nigga, nah, the one to be on the visit. I seen the nigga down there, and the homie after the visit told me that, yeah, see the, the officer that was on the visit that we fuck with, that hold us down, yeah, he seeing shorty that you was with. So he said, he asked her about it, you know what I'm saying, like on the phone, and she was like, nah, you know what I'm saying, nah, everything's cool, we cool, we make sure everything is good. Of course, you know what I'm saying, like, it's going to be conversation or whatever like that because he hold it there because she know this nigga got feelings and shit like that. And she don't want to fuck up a good thing. Me personally, I just think she just told him straight up like, yo, come on, man. You know this shit is on straight business. We making money. You know what I'm saying? I'm making money with this nigga too. We all we all in part of this organization. This ain't no motherfucking dating site. This ain't no motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, that type of energy. But I guess she had a little feelings for him because he had feelings for her. He knew she knew how he kind of felt for her, so she ain't want to fucking break his heart or hurt him or some shit. But she a money getter. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, come on, man, if your bitch is a stripper, right, and she out there getting money, you know what I'm saying? Can you be mad at her for being a hustler and fuck with another? You know what she doing a strip club, nigga, come on, man, let's keep it a buck. So anyway, right, so now he catching feelings and shit, he cool, you know, she don't answer and shit like she used to, you know how it go. Know what I'm saying? And the crazy shit. So one day, know what I'm saying? Niggas, he ain't have his phone, right? Know what I'm saying? So somebody passed him another phone. Yo, here, take this phone. You know, call your girl and shit. Know what I'm saying? Um, from another phone and see if she answered. Know what I'm saying? So somebody gave him one of their phones to see if she answered. So shorty answered the phone, but at the end of the day, it's like, it sounded like she was getting a back blowed out. You dig what I'm saying? Stick, so the shit is crazy, right? So all you hear is like, pop, 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 clapping. You know what I'm saying? So this nigga went ballistic. Oh, shit. He think, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, all right, yo, he be hung up and shit. He just want to hear that shit. Oh, shit. Yo, the office is really fucking my bitch, right? So the nigga is stressing. You got to understand, she a stripper. She could be fucking anybody. But in this nigga mind, the officer was fucking her, right? Dig what I'm saying? The only thing he was imagining was this shit right here. So, you know what I'm saying? We g manking so we go out for a motherfucking dinner and shit. This like a half hour later. We go out for dinner to the motherfucking mess hall to, you know, push the carts and shit like that to feed and make our rounds. And, you know, do what we do and holler at niggas that owe money or, you know, want to get down or, you know, make our rounds in politic. You know what I'm saying? On this, on this, on this thing that we doing. So this nigga, all he keeps talking about, yo, this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Nigga fucking my bitch. 
You know what I'm saying? Then the other nigga came and told me, he said, yo, when you see this nigga, he's going to knock this nigga out. I said, bro, I know you ain't thinking about doing no shit like that and fuck up your bag. He said, nah, bro, that shit got me tight. But you can't be mad at shorty, man. Get your money, man. Fuck all that emotional shit. You dig what I'm saying? So now we walking. And then guess who popped the fuck up? It's the officer. And to come to find out, that was a half hour ago. And this nigga been at work. So it wasn't the officer that was fucking your girl. You dig what I'm saying? It was your little cousin Daz and you fucking your hoe. Know what I'm saying? And come to find out, it was his fucking cousin, the nigga named Lynx or some shit. Right? That, you know, he making money. He, he talking about her. He, he get a little visit. He talk to, to his, his buzzing on the phone and talking about his shorty and all of this shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And then something had to get done immediately. So he had his cousin meet shorty and da 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 da. Thinking that everything gonna be alright. And, you know what I'm saying? And this nigga see her and she a hustler and he getting a little money. And you can't even trust your cousin. You can't trust nobody, bro. You know what I'm saying? So the cousin, the buzzing, started vibing with Shorty and kicking it with her. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, trying to spend a little money because he know what type of time Shorty on. He know a strip club she be at and everything. But this nigga, the villain, he catching a little feelings. He feeling Shorty. And it's understandable. Like, sometimes you be in prison and, you know, this is like really... One of the few people that you vibe with and, and it's just comforting you and it make it have, allowing you to make money and you catch your feelings and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the fucking day, his cousin stole fucking shorty. And it was his cousin, you know what I'm saying? Like that, right? So now the nigga ends up finding out, you know what I'm saying, through a family member because the family he started calling and be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, such and such, you know, shorty acting up, I don't know, man, it's just because he, he catch a feeling, he talking, you know, when niggas go through that, he start talking and talking and talking and talking and shit. So he talking to his family, man, when his family members put him on, nah, that's Lynx, Link over there fucking up, come on, nigga, the bitch, she a stripper, she be in a strip club, you know what I'm saying, like my nigga G-Mac out, this nigga was fuming, bro, you know what I'm saying, so I was like, yo, look, come here, man. Yo, look, my nigga, you got a G-Mac, my nigga. This shit is about money. You say, yo, you right, my nigga. So, the hard enough, man. Get out of that emotional shit, man. That emotional shit is not it, bro. You know what I'm saying? You about to fuck up your bag. You about to get mad at this bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's like a nigga up north. You know your bitch out there fucking, but as long as she's still bringing the bag, nigga, you don't even give a fuck about that shit. You dig what I'm saying? One time, I was up north, I had a shorty coming to see me. One time, she was a little late, I called and shit, a nigga answered the phone, right? I was like, oh shit. Matter of fact, I had a three-way. I had somebody through the three-way, the nigga answered the phone. And then she said a fake name, the girl that used the three-way for me to call, shorty and shit. And then... You know what I'm saying? So he even called her back. He said, yo, it's such and such over there. Because he didn't even know where Shorty was at. She was just a little late coming to see me. So he didn't even know that Shorty was coming to see me. So then when I get down there, I get in the bag. I ain't mention nothing about that shit. Fuck that shit, nigga. It's about getting the bag. With Shorty coming bringing in the bag, I don't give a fuck who you out there fucking. Fuck all that shit. It's G-code, nigga. Fuck what you talking about? So I'm telling this nigga my story and telling this nigga, yo, you got to fucking relax, my nigga. Let that shit go, you dig? You see that officer? You know what I'm saying? We all know that, yeah, he is... Fucking with her too. You dig what I'm saying? They getting money. They 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 bonding. You know what I'm saying? Just get this money, man. Forget about all that shit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck up your bag, right? So so the nigga, he going to visit with her. She come to see him. And one of the friends called me, right? Saying, yo, this nigga acting funny. You know what I'm saying? I try to be chill with the nigga because I know he got feelings for me. But this nigga starting to... Get a little, you know what I'm saying, too much. That's why I was like, yo, that's when you should have told that nigga straight up. Don't start catching no feelings. Like, this shit is business. Let's keep it business. But you allowed that shit to happen. Now, look at what's going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's your fault, too, for letting this nigga think that it was something when you know that it's nothing. And you out there getting money with the next man. You getting money with him. You know what I'm saying? Call that nigga on the phone right now. Put that shit on three-way. I want to hear you tell this nigga. What it is and see his, take his temperature because if this nigga gonna fuck up the vibe and, and do some dumb shit on the visit or something, we're gonna have to replace this nigga. You dig what I'm saying? So niggas is like, hit this nigga on the phone. He was like, yeah, I understand. 
You know what I'm saying? But like what she, she tell him straight up. So the nigga get mad, right? He still cursing shorty out. And he hang up on her, right? So niggas is like, okay, this shit is a rap. You know what I'm saying? So niggas is like, okay, um, so we'll call the other villain. So what we gonna do about this nigga, man? This this dub, this nigga, shorty, she probably not coming to see the nigga no more anyway, because she might be afraid the nigga might try to do something on a visit. This nigga in the court emotions. You know what I'm saying? So what we should do? Just sit this nigga down. You know what I'm saying? Let him have the cell phone. She probably just going to block him. Just tell her to block that nigga. Leave that nigga alone. It's over. Because he catching feelings. It's a wrap. So the nigga says, gee, man. The nigga's like, all right, man. This, this let it be like that. Let him have his shit. Because nigga was just thinking about because he, he fucking up the game. And he act like a weak link to mash him up and send him the fuck up out of here. Because this is bigger than this. Some blood shit right now. This is a fucking... Drug empire. Niggas is really getting money in you. If you become a fucking lick, weak link, nigga, we gonna exterminate you. You dig what I'm saying? So we had a powwow with the nigga, and nigga say, nah, you gonna chill. Yo, you know that shit, you, shorty ain't fucking with you no more. He said, word, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, yo, you could get me another broad. I said, yo, man, I'm gonna think about it, bro. But I ain't really trying to fuck with this nigga no more. He's gonna have to sit this one out and he start acting up. We just gonna have to pound his ass up. Know what I'm saying? So everything was smooth and shit for a while. Know what I'm saying? Shorty pulled another nigga down, but we ain't want to do it in the villain house because the last time that shit happened, <clears throat> niggas got jealous. This nigga started shining with this nigga ex bitch and shit just got ugly. So pick somebody from another house that started getting money with Shorty. She let him know right off the rip. It ain't that type of party. Don't be catching feelings. We're getting this money. Know what I'm saying? So now son keep come asking me, you know, you know, I'm saying, bro, I, I said, bro, you can't, I said, I had to tell him the truth. Bro, right now, because she, your, um, your, um, misconduct, bro, and you're catching feelings for this bitch, you know what I'm saying, um, we can't, we, we, we have to sit you down, bro. You got your money, you got some bread, sit this one out. You know what I'm saying? So the nigga kept acting unruly and shit like that. You dig, running around, catch, you know, being a little angry with me. You know what I'm saying? And, and we don't really want to fuck this nigga up where you get to the point if he decides to snitch on the organization. So we just, you know what I'm saying, politely, you know what I'm saying, make sure he was good. You know what I'm saying? You still got a cell phone. My nigga fucking relax, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't want to have to do it to you in this motherfucker, man. You got to be easy, player. You dig? This nigga about to get me mong the fuck out. So now, you know what I'm saying? You know, um... Talking to a broad on the phone, you know what I'm saying? So he like, yo, what's up, yo? Can you ask Shorty, you know what I'm saying, to unblock me so I can talk to her? This on some friendship. She ain't gotta come see me no more or nothing like that. Shorty was like, yo, I'm gonna I'm a talk to him and ask her, but it never happened. You know what I'm saying? So son got a little bit unruly and just started, you know, bugging the fuck out, bro. So the nigga was like, yo. You know what I'm saying? No, fuck that shit. So he, he packed his shit up. He ain't want to be around niggas no more. Because he felt like he wasn't shining or he ain't have his position. So he left. You know what I'm saying? So we'd be like, all right, man, let that nigga go, bro. You know what I'm saying? So the nigga went to the next house, right? He went over there with the motherfucking, um, with the Jets is over there, right? So now one of the Jets is over there. They doing their thing. They going down. They getting that bread, right? So this nigga went over there and stole bad mouthing us and, and, and telling lies and not telling the whole truth of what it really is, you dig? That type of energy, you dig? So at the end of the fucking day, I'm like, okay, um, that's what nigga saying. So we go by the Jet house, push the cart. You know what I'm saying? Niggas come telling us some hot shit that this nigga saying. So, yo, you want us to... Ming Wong, this nigga, this nigga's like, bro, we got to think of it. This nigga know everything about the organization, you could tell. Know what I'm saying? Niggas like, man, fuck it, man. Get that nigga Ming Wong the fuck out, man. We get the officers to send this nigga to the fucking boat or something. Anything this nigga try to tell, we keep this nigga mouth shut. Put a gag on this, gag order on this motherfucker, man. So the Jets got around the nigga while he's taking his shower. While the nigga was in the shower, niggas rocked him to sleep. Niggas ran up in there, you know what I'm saying? While the nigga was washing his face, you know what I'm saying? And stabbed the nigga in his fucking neck, right? Then the nigga tried to wild out and, and, and jump out of the shower and run. Niggas 
grab this fucking lady. This shit was mad slippery. And nigga running in the fucking shit naked. Nigga just ran to this nigga and kicked this nigga in the fucking head. And started beating the shit out this nigga. Just stumping like four or five niggas just mashing this nigga up. Punching this nigga and then stabbed this nigga a couple of times in his back. And then everybody just fled and left that nigga there. This nigga got up and went to the bubble and was like, open the fucking gate. Because niggas was like, they get ready to come back and do this nigga more bodily harm. So the nigga went through the gate in between the two gates, butt ass naked. You know what I'm saying? The, um, the fucking, um, the, the, the CO in the bubble came and gave this nigga like a towel to put around this shit. Know what I'm saying? And niggas like, yeah, my nigga, you talking all that shit. Know what I'm saying? So now the officers that's down with us, fuck with us. They already know this nigga got a gag order. Make sure this nigga get sent to the boat. Let niggas over there know what time it is. Don't let him talk to nobody. Don't, if they see motherfucking letters, watch this nigga. Make sure this nigga ain't doing no type of crazy shit, that type of energy. You dig what I'm saying? So we got rid of this nigga, you know? And shit is crazy and, and it's fucked up. It's sad. Cause niggas be catching emotions. So at the end of the day, the shit get back to business. You know what I'm saying? And the next drama happened, you already know. A motherfucking kid come in, right? Dope fiend nigga. One of the niggas that got sent the fuck out of over there from the action in Dope Fiend City and they come over there and they know that the Tom Cross heroin is over here too so they think that it's still good so nigga like yo oh shit yo bro you already know yeah my nigga yeah I heard y'all niggas already getting I need some of that shit my nigga what's good bro you know what I'm saying it's like yo yeah my nigga you got some money He's like, nah, bro, you know what I'm saying? I got commissary and shit like that. Or as I know, I be like, yo, nigga got commissary. Make sure that nigga get some of that shit, man. You know, because these niggas is things. You got to keep them, you know. Usually we don't take commissary. We don't want that shit. But, you know what I'm saying? We give you some commissary just to keep you. You know what I'm saying? So, then there was a kid that came in, right? And the nigga came in, saw that the house was laid back. And this nigga just came in, got on the jack in front of the homie Tom. And he had a serious emergency. And I was like, nah, let the nigga rock. And he did that shit the first time. So I thought he really had an emergency to talk to his people. We ain't on that impression. Let that nigga get that, bro. Let him get that. And he seemed like it's, it's emergency. Then he did the shit again. So now, oh, he trying to bully shit. Be like, yo, call that dope fiend in here. Yo, you see this nigga right here? Yo, take this fucking flathead right here. See the nigga on the phone right now? Know what I'm saying? Take that shit. We gonna hit you off. Give you a couple of bag of dope. Take this shit now, just in case shit get crazy. And you go to the box. You got here hit five bags. Know what I'm saying? Take this shit. You see that nigga on the phone? Stab the shit out that nigga. Walk by him and hit this nigga the fuck up. So the nigga went over there acting all calm and shit. He said, "Yo, bro, yo, I got next and shit. I got next." No, I'm saying, yeah, man, nigga, you, you got links, whatever, man, come on, man, move out the way. This nigga just pulled in the turn like this on the phone. This nigga came like this, stabbed this nigga in the back, bow, this nigga said, oh, shit, this nigga, bro, this nigga jumped on this nigga, like, bow, this nigga was running all the fucking around the fucking, um, the shit, and this nigga was on his ass, and then one of the niggas that, that, that was over there, you know what I'm saying, nigga caught this nigga, bow. Drop this nigga, the motherfucking dope fiend got on this nigga and then started banging this nigga. Bow, 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 bow. He grabbed that shit, you know what I'm saying? Turned the dope fiend over, took the fucking knife from this nigga, started banging the dope. Boom, 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 boom. Niggas came and rushed this nigga the fuck up over, took that shit from this nigga, right? And started, laid this nigga down, put the cruise One nigga got his fucking knee on his, his fucking, um, one of his arms, the other one, boom, niggas holding this nigga down, they start banging this nigga, boom, 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 the police is screaming, motherfucker nigga came, ran over there and sprayed that shit, hit niggas, niggas start fleeing, niggas dropped the fucking bang and everything, niggas, oh shit, she was going crazy in this nigga face, bro, yo, that shit was burning the shit out of the sun, sun went crazy, like he ain't never had that shit happen to him before, and that shit was Crazy, this nigga laying there, you know what I'm saying, everybody that got cells open, niggas ran in, everybody's cell that's open, it's only like five, six cells open, you got the whole dorm and all, everybody cells, like, ten niggas in this cell, seven niggas in this cell, eight niggas in this cell, you know what I'm saying, and niggas is trying to, like, you know what I'm saying, like, get away from that fucking shit, man, that shit, you, one squirt of that shit, I cover a whole area in the house, bro. 
This shit is crazy. So they came, picked this nigga up, locked niggas down as usual. I'm looking for the motherfucker nigga that oh usually just come take my cell phones. You Notice know, cause the last time I used to put it over there under the thing, it worked more than a few times and then it got busted. So I couldn't fuck with that. So the officer that usually come take my shit wasn't there today. So I'm like, oh shit, damn. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they going to come. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga came. I'm like, damn, they, I'll just get another one. You know what I'm saying? But this time, they might try to take me to the box for that shit. I'm like, damn. So, I'm g macking and shit. So, the nigga came in there. He know what it is and shit. He cool with the nigga. He said, nah, bro, you already know. My man, you know what I'm saying? He ain't here today, but I already know I can get down. I got you and shit. So I'm gonna search your shit. Search my shit. Boom. Everything was good. He ain't take my shit. You know what I'm saying? A few niggas. I said, yo, my man over there, he got one too. Yo, make sure you search. It's just, I'm gonna get it right there. So the officer, they said, yo, move on. Yo, I got this, man. This nigga got personal beef. I'm gonna tear this nigga shit up. Got this nigga the fuck up out of the air. Search his shit. You know what I'm saying? So the cell phones was safe and everything was good. That shit was just fucking crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? So now we in the motherfucking mess hall, right? We g macking we pulling up, we doing what we do, right? So now you got this female officer, right? So, you know, shorty know the time and she be seeing niggas in the hallway and shit. She always see the same niggas and, and we be, we be g macking you know what I'm saying? We smooth, we cool, we don't cause no problems. It be problems every now and then. But usually, for the most part, the house is mad fucking laid back and chill. So they used, she used to come in the house. She'd be like, hey, yo, what's up, Jordan? What's good? Be like, yo, I'm chilling, man. You know, same thing. Another day, said, yeah, I know what's in here. Y'all be doing your thing. That's what's up. Nice and laid back and chill. I said, yeah, you know that shit. You know what I'm saying? She said, yo, they got um this kid over there, right? That just moved to your house. I said, which one are you talking about? He said, yo, what's that nigga? Because that nigga, he be on some bullshit, right? And I seen that nigga say some slick shit to another officer about how niggas was getting money in that house. And that niggas better, you know what I'm saying? Niggas better show some motherfucking respect to me and make sure I, I, I'm living. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the niggas talking man tough like you want to come up in there and, and G-Max some shit. I said, yo, it's the nigga that we just, we just ran out of there? She said, nah, the other nigga, the nigga's quiet. So I came back in there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dude, what's he talking about? I said, nah, he, he's such and such. I said, oh, okay, this nigga here. So the nigga seemed like he was on laid back shit. The nigga, the nigga was laid back on some quiet shit. So I'm watching this nigga now. You know what I'm saying? And then the nigga tried to make a move. The nigga was like, yo. He came to niggas like, yo, bro, so niggas is like waiting for this nigga to make a move. So we already know what time it is. So the nigga came, you know what I'm saying? And I said, yo, check his, check his account. See what type of money. He ain't had no money or nothing. So how you going to get in when you fit in? Either you going to try to ask for a job to get down and, and make your bones or what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? And the lady said how the nigga said he was going to try to make a power move. So we like this. All right. So. The nigga came. It was like, yo, nah, nigga, yo, let me, let me holler at you. Yo, let me holler at you. Come to the back. Nah, you, you, you. So niggas came to the back. And the nigga was like, he was like, yo, check this out. As soon as nigga said, check this out, nigga just punched this nigga. Bow. Nigga dropped him. Nigga fell to the floor against the wall. Niggas just start kicking this nigga in his fucking head. His head hit the fucking wall. Niggas just start main Monday. Nigga try to get up and run. One of the niggas that was over there that wasn't even involved. Know what I'm saying? Nigga just a quiet nigga. That's a chill 550. Just motherfucking uh, uh, running and just tackle this nigga. Boom to the fucking ground, right? Niggas just come over there and start ming monging this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Kicking and stomping the shit out this motherfucker. Fuck is you talking about? So the nigga got up and ran to the door. You know what I'm saying? The gate and asked the police to get him up out of here. Luggage, pack him up, fly him out. The fuck up out of here, like shit just be crazy, man. You already know, man. It's your boy Stony Rock Store. You know I'll be back at you with another official jump off, man. Let's keep this motherfucking shit going. You already know, man. It's the Tom Cross Harris, the Rackers Island drug dealers, man. Salute to the pink houses, man, and all them bad bitches that get down and make that motherfucking shit happen for niggas that's locked up and allow niggas to eat. You already know it's your boy Stony Rock Store. Salute. Stony. Stony. Gang. Gang, gang, gang. I love Christmas.
Paris to French. We just keep spinning eight blocks. Catch us up and you know we gon' flop. Blah. We gon' sit two for his top. Watch a fly to the low lick his burns on the rocks. Boom. We just keep spinning eight blocks. Catch us up and you know we gon' flop. Blah. We gon' sit two for his top. Watch a fly to the low lick his burns on the rocks. If I pop out, I slide with the Glock. I'm booming off riff if I hop in the spot. Bullets well, hook him, they rip through the block. We taking the soul, leave his corpse in a box. Blah. In the dirt where your body gon' rot. You can't even see, but this flowers on top. Pussy. With the stone, got a name on the rock. Got the birth of a bitch with the death of a op. Going up every year on your death date. I ain't get caught, you was labeled a cold case. Okay. Getting money. No time for the full play Stack in the back And I'm chasing her blue face Shorty really hit me She coming to my place She throwing the neck And she love her hot She like, oh boy I know where your ops say I drop you the Addy Just pay for my new lace We just keep spinning eight blocks Catch us a op And you know we gon' flop We gon' sit two for his top Watch a fly to the low Leave his burns on the rocks We just keep spinning eight blocks Catch us a op And you know we gon' flop We gon' sit two for his top Watch a fly to the low Leave his burns on the rocks Put my name in no cap Matter of fact You can hold a fit Wish me a fly like a lap Moving tack Pointed at his figgy. Boom, boom. I'm with the apes in the e watch She said, put me on toe and kick it like FIFA. E-Watch. Cash out the spine of a D up. After the cash, I beat it with her feet up. Skirt. Tony just hit me as Liddy. Boom. Chevy just hit something close to a 20. I might pull up in the Bentley. Skirt. She all on my dick, but she knows it's a rainy. We got the town in a frenzy. French. Just got me a rollie, the bezel came drippy. Feel like the king of my city. Dang. Now all these odd bitches wanna jink me. Split it, dumb. Where the fuck you at, boy? I'm right outside, man. Right? I'm right outside. I'm on the block. I'm on the block. I'm on the block, I'm on the block you right? We just keep spinning eight blocks. Catch us a op and you know we gon' flop. We gon' sit two for his top. Watch a fly to the low, leave his burns on the rocks. We just keep spinning eight blocks. Catch us a op and you know we gon' flop. We gon' sit two for his top. Watch a fly to the low, leave his burns on the rocks. 